You're on. Okay, so basically what we're looking at here is it's the differential equation for explaining the change in penis. Okay, so you have d penis dt, the penis change with respect to time, now you've got two arbitrary constants, a and b, t is temperature, k is the coefficient of volumetric expansion, x is the level of excitement, measured in whatever you would measure that in. Um, you come down here and you solve the differential equation for c, which is your slope value. So you create these isoclines, which basically are uh, lines upon which the slope is constant. So you draw the isoclines, which you can see in the light yellow uh, arcs here. Then you draw the slope that's on those light yellow arcs, you know, which is in the other color. And then using this slope field, which you've now created, you can then thread through solution curves, which are the dark yellowish orange that you see, which then become the uh, y of x equations. They're the solutions to the differential equation. Um, in this case, they are penis of t. So, you can see, since our degrees are in Kelvin, um, the negative temperature of the graph really doesn't apply. Like, those don't apply to the physical system, they're just correct in the mathematical sense. But above, you see, you know, things, for instance, where, <coughs> you know, if there's a low temperature and there isn't a high enough excitement level to affect the temperature, you know, your excitement level really goes from zero to one, so this is the range you're looking at. So if you have a very low temperature and your level of excitement is not very high, then the curve is going to go near and crash to zero, which is, you know, your equation there. If it's, if it's high enough, then it will eventually go up, you know, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> oh, the thetas, the thetas I didn't draw. Well, I did draw the thetas, but somebody else drew the pictures. You know, theta isn't actually in this equation. Right. But you could get it if you converted it to 